in Fetty, um, the area is swarmed with emergency vehicles um, and sirens. And have you obviously, seen we're very sensitive to this kind of thing in this neighborhood. Elliot, have you, of course, because of the incident that occurred in the early 1990s, have you seen any, any evidence, Elliot, of, of people being taken out of the building? Uh, you say that emergency vehicles are there, understandably so, but of course the major concern is human oh loss. I mean, do you know if there were many people in the building? Oh, at the another time? one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane just oh. flew directly over my building, and there's been another collision. Can you see it? I yes. can yes. see it on this shot. Oh my! Something you, else has just. You know just, what? We just saw like a plane circling the building. It is in the other building. We just saw a plane circling the building a second ago on the shot right before I that. I think there may have been another impact. Can you tell? I just heard another very loud bang and a very large plane that might have been a. DC-9 or a 747 just flew past my window, and I think it may have hit the Trade Center uh, again. To be, to be honest, Elliot, I didn't, I didn't get the impression that it was that big a plane. It looked I, big from here. I did see a plane go by a second ago, though, and it, it, it has now impacted the building. I'm yeah. trying to see if it's the different tower. Yeah. I it think is, it may have been. I believe tower. the first one was World Trade Center 1, and it looks, from what I'm seeing on the television, like it may have been We're the second see, building. This is hit. a piece of tape, and we may actually see another plane enter the picture here in a second. I wonder if there are air traffic control problems. Let's go back to Jennifer Oberstein, who was talking to a second ago. Jennifer, did you see this happen? Hello? Did Jennifer? you just see this happen, Jennifer? Matt, I, yeah. I'm, I've never seen any, it looks like a movie. I saw a large plane, like a jet, go immediately headed directly into the World Trade Center. It, it just flew into it, into the, into the other tower coming from south to north. I watched the plane fly into the World Trade Center. It was a jet. It was a very large plane. It was going fast. It went past the Ritz-Carlton Hotel that's being built in Battery Park. It went, flew right past it, almost hit it, and then went in. This is so shocking, of course, to everybody like watching. I, I've never seen anything like it. It literally flew itself into World Trade Center. Obviously, now we, we move from what, what appears to have... There it is right there. Again, I'm looking from south to north, that, and it went into the, the one on the right. That appeared to be at least a 727. We saw it a second ago. Here, it, here comes the videotape that we, we just showed you. You will see what appears to be a large plane. It could be a 727 right there, maybe even bigger, flying right into the side of the World Trade Center. It was at least a 727. I, it was a jet. I couldn't believe my eyes watching it right above me. And, and now you, you have to move from talk about a possible accident to talk about something deliberate that has happened here. We're going to immediately check with air traffic control in the area to find out if they had contact with either of these planes before the accident. But what we've just seen is, is about the most shocking videotape I've ever seen. What are the odds of two separate okay. planes hitting both towers? Elliot, are you still there? Hello? Elliot? Yes, I'm still here, Katie. So, Elliot, what can you see right now from, from your perspective? Um, I don't face in that direction. I can't see anything personally. It is completely impossible to understand why this is happening and to figure out what, the, what in the world is going on. I think we have to be grateful Ali that the first plane hit before 9 a.m., but it's now after 9 a.m., and I just wonder how many people were in those, those offices. Buildings fill well, up. hopefully that they were evacuated following the first incident, and we can only hope that there was a very short period of time from when we first learned about this was probably about 8.50 Eastern time. This second incident occurred about 9.05, and so obviously that would be a short amount of time to get people out of the building. Mm -hmm. Ali Eberhardt is another witness who is on the ground. Ali, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Can, please tell me what you're seeing. Well, um, I live in Lower Manhattan. I face the North Tower, the north side where the first plane crashed into the building, and right now there's a lot of chaos on the ground, a lot of emergency vehicles. Everyone from the World Financial Center has exited and is walking north up to Battery Park North. There's just mass and mass of people uh, walking uh, north uptown of Manhattan. Uh, I was happened to look on the first tower, and I actually saw people waving where the first plane crashed through, and then it was unbelievable seeing this second jet come crashing into the second tower. It's, what is going on? And unfortunately, here in New York, many of our stations cannot see this, local stations, because